But if you're a good example, because I don't see kids who are raised in the church and after they turn 20, turn into hell. Then I don't see kids who are hell for the first 20 years and came the greatest service of the Lord. We don't know who the person is. Amen. Amen. Joshua chapter 7. Come on. That's what chat so. Y'all get anything out of this? Yeah, Amen. Joshua 7. My main concern, again, is about confession of sin and knowing how you should confess sin if you're one of the Lord, one of the Lord children. Joshua 7. I want to see where I'm going to start at. Wow. All right, let's go at verse 10. We'll so get the full story here. You ready? All right, I got about 10 more minutes. Come on. I have about. Eight or nine more scriptures, but let's just do this one. Ready. <laughs> Starting in verse 10. And the Lord said unto Joshua, Get thee up, wherefore liest thou thus upon thy face. What was happening was Israel was losing the war. And Joshua went to go seek the Lord concerning why the stuff was happening. And the Lord, why should the Lord said, Stop praying to me. Get up off your face. I'm going to tell you what's going on. Amen. Ready? Yeah. Verse 11. Israel has sinned. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Come on. Israel has sinned, and they have also transgressed my covenant, which I commanded them. For they have even taken of the accursed thing. The accursed thing. They stole. What did they do? They took idols. Ready? And have also stolen and dissembled also, and have put it among their own stuff. They took it and put it in my holiness. They took it and put it where was I call holy. Come on, y'all ain't hearing me. Yeah. That's me. Twelve. Therefore, the children of Israel could not stand before their enemies. Uh -huh. They were losing the war because they had sin in the camp. Yes. <laughs> they had sin in the camp. Mm -hmm. Amen. <laughs> but turn their backs before their enemies before because they were accursed. Neither will I be with you anymore except you destroy the accursed thing from among you. Get, come clean, dirty, get the sin out of the camp. Yes, Sometimes sin got to be put out of the camp. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, sir. You got to go. Amen. Yes. Verse 13. Up, sanctify the people and say, sanctify yourselves against tomorrow. For thus said the Lord God of Israel, there is an accursed thing in the midst of you. that accursed thing. I don't know how many times. You know, you know what that cursed thing is in our day? <laughs> Can I say it? Weed, yeah. we, alcohol, drugs, <clears throat> drugs you name it. Amen. 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 Come on. Name it and claim it. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, the cursed thing shall be burned with fire. That don't mean light it up. Okay. <laughs> I thought I'd say that. He and all that he has, because he has transgressed the covenant of the Lord, and because he has wrote folly in Israel, because he has put foolishness in this house. Amen? So Joshua rose up early in the morning, and brought Israel by their tribes, and the tribe of Judah was taken. Verse 17. And he brought the family of Judah, and he took the family of Zerhites, and he brought the family of the Zerhites man by man, and Zedai was taken. Don't get me on all these names, okay? And he brought man by man, and Achan. Please underline Achan. Because Achan is getting ready to ache. Okay? And Achan, the son of Kamel, then the son of Zadok, and the son of Zerah, of the tribe of Judah, was taken. And Joshua said unto Achan, My son, give, I pray thee, glory to the Lord God of Israel, and make confession unto him, and tell me now what thou hast done. tell me and ask me a truth. I already know they know the truth, so ain't no need to lie. Or they wouldn't be coming to ask me. Especially, you know, women in my life in my past, they come up to me, I served you did so, so I knew they already know the truth. Yeah, I did. 
Ain't no need to lie. Come clean, man. All truth gonna come out anyway. I ain't never seen this truth not come out. It's gonna come out. And if the woman walks up to you asking a question, brother, she ought to know the truth. She done got your cell phone, looked at this text, she done found the number, she done looked at your email, she done checked your Facebook, she done did something before she came and asked you a question. But she ain't coming empty, she coming with the truth. Amen. Amen. I thought I'd put that in there. I'm not going. Uh-huh. And they will investigate. The last five minutes. Even the blind woman can see your mess. <laughs> <laughs> Verse 20, and Achan answered Joshua and said, Indeed, I have sinned against the Lord God of Israel, and thus and thus have I done. Yeah, I've done it. Why did he say he done it now? Because he got cold. He wasn't worried about it until he got cold. As soon as the evidence was there, I'll be guilty. You know? The Lord said, Look, man, they got you, Dad. My boy said, I'm guilty. But you know they ain't got nothing of it in it. Not guilty, Your Honor. They know. They know. Now watch this explanation here. Watch this excuse and justify. Verse 21. When I saw among the spoils of the goodly Babylonian garment and the 200 shekels of silver and the wedge of gold and 50 shekels of weight, then I coveted them. I wanted them so bad, my friend couldn't even stop me from taking them. I coveted them. And took them. And behold, they are hid in the earth in the midst of my tent and the silver under it. So Joshua sent messengers and they ran unto the tent. And behold, it was hid in his tent and the silver under it. And they took them out of the midst of the tent and brought them unto Joshua and unto all the children of Israel and laid them out before the Lord. Yes. And Joshua and all of Israel with them took Achan. Took Achan. The sun, the zero, and the silver, and the garment, and the wedge of gold, and his sons, and his sons, and his daughters, and his ox, and his asses, and his sheep, and his tent, took his whole house. Amen. And all that he had, and they brought them unto the valley of Kar. And Joshua said, Why hast thou troubled us? The Lord shall trouble. Amen. But this is all you need to do. Final verse. Romans 10, my favorite one. Ready? 
Romans 10. This is the first scripture I ever memorized. Well, I want to say memorized. It went into my heart to stay here. Because I still do this on a daily basis. I get saved as often as I can. I will never stop praying the sinner's prayer. I ask God to come in my heart every time he says, Warren, get on your knee and ask me to come in your heart again. Yes, Lord. Amen. I ain't no one-time thing for me. It's a lifetime thing for me. It's a lifestyle thing for me. Amen? And when you got that attitude, you're working your way to the Lord. Romans 10. And let's start at verse 8 just to get a fuller understanding. Excuse me. But what says the word is near you? Even in your where mouth Amen. and in your what heart, oh. that is the word of faith we preach. That if thou shalt confess with your mouth. Now, we always hear people confess with their mouth. But do they tell me your heart? No. We hear it all the time. You know, pastors talk about regeneration. But here's my thing. I believe in that too. But I don't know if you've been generated. The only way I can know is I see an outward demonstration of it. That's the only way I can tell somebody born again. And then you still got to watch that because we got a lot of hypocrites. Because mm -hmm. the Bible even said they come in what? Uh, uh, sheep's coat, but they're really wool. Amen. Amen. Verse 9 again. That thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shalt believe in thine heart. Believe in thine heart. I don't know your heart condition. Believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead. Thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto Righteousness. And with the mouth, confession is made unto what? Salvation. Salvation. That's my outward hearing of your profession. Amen? Amen. Amen. Now, finally, all right, we got one more. Go to 1 Timothy chapter 2, and we'll close it there. Amen? 1 Timothy chapter 2. And like I said, there's for you, I was going to give you the scripture. For those of you who want to know where it says, Call no man father upon the earth, that you don't go in the Catholic synagogue. That's Matthew 23 and 9. And for those of you who want to know that you're not supposed to have no Hail Marys and all that stuff, because Mary, Hail Marys ain't even in the word. You go to Matthew 12, verses 47 to 50. And that's what Jesus said, Who is my mother, my father? But then we'll do the will of my father. I mean, we're talking about that. Amen? Amen. But we want to cover 1 Timothy chapter 1, I mean, chapter 2. And we're going to come to a close. I pray y'all got something out of this this evening. Amen. I'm only going by the articles of God. I was instructed to bring it. So I don't fight God no more. I just do it. Chapter 2, look at verse 1. Now, we beseech you, brethren, by the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, and by our gathering together unto him, that you be not soon shaken in your mind. Don't be shaken with what I'm telling you this evening. Or be troubled, neither by spirit, nor by word, nor by letter, as from us, as that the day of Christ is at hand. Let no man deceive you by any means. Learn this for yourself. Amen. For that day shall not come except there come a falling away first. That means Christians are going to deny Christ. Amen. All those who claim they love Jesus, a lot of them are going to turn their back on Christ. Amen. You read the wrong stuff. Am I in the wrong place? Yeah. <laughs> no, thank you. But it's still good. That's 1 Thessalonians. That was 1 Thessalonians. Let's keep going anyway. 1 Thessalonians chapter 2. <laughs> let me get that. Let me get that. Let me get that. <laughs> let me get that. <laughs> I'm at 1 Timothy 2. Amen. What you at? Chapter 2, 1 Thessalonians 2. Verse 3, let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come, except there be a falling away first, and that no man and that that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. That means the devil. Now go to first Timothy. I gotta cover it, I'm sorry. Now we're gonna go there. There we go. Y'all need to understand, I cannot see this thing, big as it is. <laughs> first Timothy. Yeah. Preach on what you see. But some of them Hey look, I made mistakes. Confess your mess, people. Don't judge me. You judge me? That was Second Thessalonians chapter two, verses one through three. Right? Second Thessalonians chapter two, verses one through three, where I made my mistake. Now, come on, I gotta get y'all out of here before Ron jump up. And finish this out. First Timothy chapter 2, verses 1 through 8, and we're done. Ready? I exhort you.
you therefore that first of all supplication, prayer, intercession, and giving thanks be made for what? All men. For kings and for all that are in authority. See that? That we may lead a quiet and peaceable life in all goodly and godliness and honesty. Boy, I can't wait to bring that one. For this is good and acceptable in the sight of God our Savior, who will have all men to be saved. There's your scripture. All men to be saved. And to come unto the knowledge of the one the truth. For there is one God and one mediator between God and men. That man do Christ Jesus. For who gave himself as a ransom for all to be testified in due time. Wherefore I am ordained a preacher and an apostle. I speak the truth in Christ and lie not. Amen. A teacher of the Gentiles in faith and verity. I will therefore that men pray everywhere, lifting up holy hands, without wrath and doubt. Amen. Amen. Ooh, we got to do it. Amen. But he's our told. Amen. Amen. I hope y'all got something out of it. Yes, Everybody got something out of it? Amen. So come to me there and confess your sin. Amen. That means get specifically before God and tell us what you did wrong. Amen. 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 Father, we just take you in the mighty name of Jesus. For this word this evening, I just thank you. I pray people learn to respect the blood and body of Christ, that they know they have been forgiven through your sacrifice upon the cross, that they may know how to confess their sins correctly, and not only confess sin, but repent, turn away from it. I ask these things, and I intercede for these things on these people in this house. I ask these things in Jesus' name, let the house say amen. amen.